Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. We're doing a paid review today. Quick wristwatch check. Bluesy, 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 bluesy. This is paid review 23QB68. Let's run the intro and let's discuss this. Let's discuss this collection. Let's discuss the collection and uh, we'll give him some pointers. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury here on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, have I got a paid review today. We love our paid reviews. We like to discuss the collections and I've got a collection here to review. I got a collection here to review and uh, I got to tell you guys, if you guys want to review, I'm here for you guys there. I do the paid reviews. It's a big part of my um my channel the paid watch reviews uh this has just come in this is from i don't know how to pronounce his name etany 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 and uh hey why not let's have a bit of a look and see what pieces he has in his in his collection there um so i've i've got I've got I've got some pieces here. We've got a bit of a story. Let's let's have a look and see what we've um we've got here. Uh he says to me, Hello Archie, please don't mention my name. Just don't mention my full name. Just call me Etony. First, sorry for my bad English. I'm half French and half German. I'm currently studying mechanical engineering in Munich. I know you don't like Germans. Hey, I love Germans. Don't no 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 no. That's just some shtick. I love I actually love the Germans. Uh, my grandfather fought against the Nazis as a resistance fight. No, I, I quite quite like Germans. I like the French. I'm into watches since I was 16. Now I'm 24. I really love my watches and worked my ass off for this collection. I know that you may consider some of them shitters, but I want to tell you, uh, tell me your brutal opinion. I could only afford these watches because they were mostly bargains. I worked. A few weeks with a watchmaker so I know quality, finishing, and sometimes even repair and regulate my watches. Please consider that I have a small wrist. I will never wear over 40 mil. Uh, if I mention the prices, they will be in Aussie dollars. I watched your channel for years and really like your sense of humor and happy to tell people the truth, unlike TGV, for example. Okie dokie. So now let's let's have a look at some of these watches that he has. So he's a student. So we've got to give him some concession because, you know, guys, students don't have the best funding. Look at this here. We've got a nice Zenith El Primero. We've got a Zenith El Primero. It's a Zenith Caliber 156, 38 mil, manual wind. Oh, man, no, it's manual. No, we've got the wrong Zenith. Sorry, I've got the, the wrong Zenith on the screen. That's what I've got. I've got the wrong Zenith. Let's have a look. Is there another Zenith? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, it, no, it's not it. Which one is that? The manual. There was a manual wind. Whoops. It's not that one. Which one is it? Which is this Zenith here? Where is this Zenith? Um, Okie dokie. I think that's the one of the new. He sent me some new photos there. Uh, okay, we'll just ignore that one for the moment. Let's just go through this list here. Uh, a Zenith, uh, 156, 38 mil, manual wind, 18K solid gold. Caliber 156 is an e-bosch from Martel, and it's hand-finished by Zenith. I paid $1,720 Aussie. 
Next piece is a Lolex. Lolex, please. Yes, let's get the Rolex, please. It's a Rolex. Let's get this Rolex, please. Uh, did he send me a pic of this roll? Okay, it's a Rolex 6694. I still have the original bracelet. Yes, yeah, 6694. Um, fantastic. He's got a 6694. My goal, my first goal was to buy a date just 36, but as I saw roll as as I saw this Rolex, I needed to buy because it's pretty rare because it has no precision on the dial. It's pretty difficult for me to find one with original tritium dial. I bought it two years ago. Uh, it's very precise and still waterproof. I paid 3680 Australian shit. You know, I used I remember when these were. Of under a thousand bucks Aussie Jesus, but you know, it's a 6694 manual wine. These were the most popular watch in Hong Kong and Singapore in the 80s. Okay, the next piece he's got, he's got a Horsham 38 mil chronograph. I know nobody knows this brand, but I bought it because of the famous Valjoux 23 caliber. Okay, dokie, let's see if we can let's see if we can find that on the screen. The Horsham, where is this? This Horsham, where the hell is this thing? Oh, that's the Horsham there. Okay, the Horsham. Okay. Actually, it's very funky 70s kind of one of these no-name sort of generic Swiss from the time. Uh, I know nobody knows the brand, but I bought it because the famous Valjoux 24. It's pretty well finished in this watch. And the funny thing is that you can get the exact same vintage watch by Hoyer. This caliber was used as a base for Patek, Vacheron. No, I think it's got, as you said, some historic. Um, next, he's got an Audemars Piguet. Oh, sorry, this, whoops, whoops, go, let's go back to that. I just. Next to the Horsham, that's the, the Oyster Date. That's the Oyster Date Rolex we were talking about before. 34 mil. Uh, yeah, that's that's not bad for a student to have. That's a nice little watch. Next piece is the Audemars Piguet. Uh, 30 by 36 extra 18K gold with sapphire crystal. So let's just get this one up. No, that's not it. Which one is it? Which one is this? That's it there. That's it there. That's the AP. AP. These are a bargain. Uh, I really like it as a dress watch. It has the famous 2001 caliber and a new old stock alligator strap. I think it's from the, no, I'd say 80s. That's 80s. 80s. I paid 2400 Aussie. Well, look, look, look. Where are you going to get it? That's, a, I mean, that's an absolute. Look, it's very retro. If you've got a smaller wrist, these are an absolute bargain. So I don't have a problem with this i don't i think it's it's funky as fuck it's an audemars pig a for 2400 aussie fuck that's nothing it's peanuts you look the gold it's got it's solid gold these are not plated these are real it's 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 a great watch then he's got a zenith el primero 400 z 39 mil uh display back may be my craziest bargain i paid 1500 with the box oh this was the one i had firstly up here that's it there look at that that's it look at that it's a bargain a bargain look at that it's it's that's a cool cool watch cool cool watch got oh, look at that he's moving look at that look at that guys look at this it's uh <clears throat> what a a nice I actually like it. Very, very cool watch there. Very, very nice. Very nice watch to have indeed there. Um, okay, so let's let's have a look here. So so he's got then he's got an Omega 330T2, 33 mil manual wind. The next one is most important to me because my girlfriend gave it to me when we were only one and a half years together, and I had no cash to buy. Is that that one? Is that it? To buy a watch. And believe me, she wasn't rich either and just wanted to make me extremely happy when she gave it to me in our holiday, which worked well. I know the dial. Oh, it's not, it's not that one. It's not. It can't be that one. Where is this Omega? She bought the Omega from. What a 
loves are you still with her oh this omega here i don't know if that's is that it the automatic omega is that how many omegas have oh this one here maybe this one here i think it's this one here um uh, it made extremely happy on our holiday i know the dials were finished but i don't care it's un yes yeah oh it's 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 priceless your girlfriend fuck what a She's a keeper. Are you still with her? Tell me the love story. I want to know the love story. Then we've got here, we've got a Breitling. Okay, so that's that. We've got a Breitling Colt, 38 mil automatic. I have the original Colt bracelet. Not much to say about it. It's reliable, cheap to service, and it uses an ETA movement. When I use it on vacation because I also travel in poorer countries. It's... Uh, <laughs> Suitable for diving, as I'm a passionate diver. They once stole a watch from me, and the maximum my travel insurance is 3,000 US. Uh, I'm planning to either sell this one or the Amiga Seamaster 300. I need your advice. I paid 1,600 for the Colt. Uh, pretty, pretty good that there. Pretty good that. Uh, then we've got a long jeans. 49 mil, 14. Now, I actually, this we've seen this come up a few times here. This was the, the pocket watch. Look at this pocket watch. Uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful pocket watch. 39 mil, 14K solid gold pocket watch. Very beautiful caliber, as you can see. Uh, let's have a look here. The caliber. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, I bought it because the quality of these old long jeans is amazing. It's really sad to see what happened to long jeans and their craftsmanship. I bought it in non-working condition and serviced it myself because it's easier because the parts are bigger than with wristwatches. Oh, he's, he's learning the craft. It was in was in new old stock condition. It's 100 years old, and there was never a watchmaker that touched it after it left the factory. The only reason it didn't work was because the oil hardened. I paid a ridiculous 750 That's so cheap. So cheap. So ch what a beautiful story uh there's an omega Teresa 34 mil 18k solid gold i bought it new old stock with box it has a screw down crown the movement's untouched i really love the patina everything is original about it it has the 354 bumper movement they're actually quite interesting those bumper movements the bumper bumper movements on the that's it there that's the the bumper movement yes um the bumper movement um very very cool bumper movement 354 bumper movement which works great i paid 1400 not bad for a gold watch then we've got a jager la Coultra, 34 mil ultra thin caliber 801 18k solid gold great watch with factory finish everything is original about it i'm planning to sell it what do you think about it i paid 1400 this is the which one's this this is the the long, the, sorry, the, this is the JLC. Where is the JLC? Where is the JLC? Let's have a look. Oh, this one here. Oh, that's the JLC. I love it. The JLC, 34 mil ultra thin. Uh, 1400, fuck. It's, it's 18K gold. Fuck, 18, 1400 bucks. Uh, then he's got an Omega Seamaster 36 mil, 300 meter, 300 diver. That's that one there. Nice dive watch. I know it sounds dumb, but I bought it because of the James Bond and because my father wore that, um, he wore that chronograph version. Chronometer. Chronograph? Chronometer? It's not a, it's a, not a chronograph. Chronometer. My father wore, the, oh, the chronograph version as a child. It was the coolest thing I ever saw. Uh, as I said, I was planning to sell either this one or the Breitling. I'd probably sell the Breitling Colt. They were the same size with two millimeters difference. <laughs> the nice thing about the Breitling is that you see it less and it's freshly serviced. I paid 2000 I'd probably keep the Amiga. I think the Amiga is more of an iconic, cool piece. He's got a Breitling Chrono Cockpit. I like the design of this watch, which uses an ETA 2892. Um, uh, it uses the Dubois Dupraz chronograph module. They're a real bitch to service, but that's why I'm thinking about selling it. That's the Breitling Chrono Cockpit. Where's the cockpit? 
did we see the cockpit i didn't see the cockpit where's the the cockpit where was the cockpit did i see that where was it where was it did i see this cockpit where was it where's the brightling it was the cockpit one no i didn't see that okay uh he's selling seventeen hundred dollars what do you think I should buy next? I'm thinking about an Amiga 320 chronograph dress watch in 18K solid gold. I think they may rise in price. I can get a mint one for 4300 Uh, I hope there are not too much questions for you, Arch. You are my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers. Keep up the good work. Sorry for my bad English. Well, I got to tell you what a collection there. I love it. You're, you're, you're a young guy in the hobby enjoying yourself man what more i love the pocket watch i love the ap man i i love it all you've got some really really great pieces uh i'd probably my advice to you would be to get a 36 mil explorer one 14270 that's what i'd save up and get one of those that's what i'd get because that's such an eclectic, got a smaller wrist. It'll tie in beautifully with this collection. That's what I would be doing. So um, I love the collection. You're a young guy. I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with any of the watches. I love the story. I love the way you just love the hobby and you uh you love the pieces. That I mean that's that's what this that's what this hobby is all about. That's what this hobby is all about. It's about enjoying the pieces. Now, you also got you also got an IWC. You got an IWC and I quite I got to be honest with you. I quite like this watch. It's a beautiful watch. I'm just going to bring it up on the screen. IWC. I'm just not sure if it's original dial or a redial, but um I love it. I love the font, the font, the three, nine, and 12, just a beautiful um, piece there. Um, I love these, these IWCs. They're, they're just so, um, you know, when they did these, this is a bygone era. And you sent me a movement shot. Let me see if I can get the movement shot. The movement is absolutely delightful i love these manual wine i think there's something more artistic in a manual wine movement than in an automatic i just the simplicity look at that how could you not love it i i i totally you know that that's just such a a cool cool um just such a cool piece i also uh what was the other you, you got another you mentioned i think you mentioned there was another what else did you get there? Um, what is this here? This is the, what's that? That's the Omega, oh, the Omega, the Omega Chrono. This was the, this was the, I think this is the gold Omega you were talking about there. I'm just going to try and find this here. I, I really do love these vintage watches. You know what? There is the thing I've got to tell you is there is some um, there is some really um, there is some charm to the to the to the to, to the older pieces there. I will. Oh, that was sorry that Omega. That's you don't have that. Uh, you may buy that now. Okay, I won't display that then. Okay, that's with the three, two, one column wheel. Yeah, that's an amazing far out man. I I I, I get you where you're coming from. Fuck, that's yeah uh shit uh and i'm telling you to buy a bloody explorer one fuck fuck uh <laughs> um yeah i know i get it i get it what a great collection all i can say is congratulations love your watches love them love them love them i think you got a great collection i'd want to add some a modern rolex you know like a 14270 explorer one just as a modern everyday wearer i love the eclectic just the the vintage and the story there's nothing i would change i love it i absolutely love it so that's the pontiff's approval okay guys that's the review for today i love this collection 
If you guys want to buy a, a watch or sell a watch in America, who do I recommend? David SW. Let's, let's hear from our sponsor, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.